Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Stay tuned at the end of this video for a huge announcement involving Life Noggin and some of your favorite animation creators on YouTube. Well there, Qbot9001, what kind of question are you cooking up for me today? All right, let's see what we have here. What if humans migrated like salmon? Oh, come on. This can't be the question. Oh, okay. This must be the real question. I'll take that. This just says do it, coward. You know what? Fine. We're going with Qbot's question. So, what would it be like if humans had to migrate like salmon? Spoiler alert, it'd be pretty darn weird. Like a lot of things in nature, the reason for migrating and swimming upstream boils down to one thing, reproduction. For salmon, this is called spawning, which means laying eggs. Salmon are typically between two and six when they're ready to spawn, and that means one thing, heading home to mate. Salmon swim upstream to reproduce, with some swimming hundreds of miles to reach their spawning sites. Recent research has shown that salmon can use the Earth's geomagnetic field to help them find their way back home on these long-distance migrations. This also seems to be the way that little baby salmon can find their way from their gravel nests and up to the surface waters. Smell also seems to play a role in salmon spawning spawning migration. Younger salmon learn the smell of their home stream as they leave the nest and can use it to help find their way back when it's time to bolster the salmon forces. This might even lead to a bunch of rerouting on our salmon friend's GPS as they have to test the water down different streams to find the path that smells just right. Now, having to make your way on home to do the, um, do, do would probably be a pretty big inconvenience, especially when you learn what happens after salmon mate. But the whole thing about smelling your way home already plays on something that humans experience. Smell is closely connected to human memory, which is why a whiff of a pumpkin spice latte can take you back to the memories of frolicking in the fall leaves and making pumpkin men with your friends. It's like a snowman but with pumpkins. During the journey home, salmon start to go through some changes. Depending on their species, salmon can change color and develop extra features like a hooked snout and elongated teeth to help them attract a mate and defend their spawning grounds. That wouldn't be too bad if humans had to do the same. It's basically just a makeover, but the salmon's makeover doesn't stop with its outsides. At some point along the journey, certain salmon stop feeding and their insides begin to break down, making more more room for eggs and sperm. The salmon then start to live off of the built-up fat that's stored in their body, giving them enough energy to go and, well, do the deed. After spawning actually happens, things get, well, even worse for our salmon friends. The fate for most salmon at this point is to die soon after mating, their decaying bodies providing a nutrient-rich environment for their growing fish spawn. And that's about the most morbid way to take care of your kids that I've ever heard of. So, Qbot9001, if humans were really like salmon, you'd have some pretty terrifying things to look forward to. And don't even get me started on having to deal with these guys. So do you have any questions you want me to feed to Qbot? His question generating algorithm definitely needs some work. Let me know down in the comment section below. Special huge announcement time, wee woo wee woo, my animator friends Illimation, The Odd Ones Out, Emery Chu, and Something Else YT are doing a live show in Los Angeles November 5th. It's called Block Party. Personally, I would have went with Blocko Party, but it's close enough, it's fine. Some of your favorite animation channels are going to be playing really fun drawing games live, and we're getting the audience involved. If this show goes well, we might be adding more shows in more cities. So if you want to support all of these people and you can make it to LA, get your tickets now before they sell out at blockpartylivetour.com. Oh, and I forgot to mention, my friend Pat will be hosting the event. He's a very close friend of mine and sounds suspiciously like me. I don't sound anything like you. Watch, I'll say something. Um, hey there, welcome to life. No, oh, okay, I guess I do, yep. I'll be there too, but I'll be hiding backstage since I'm afraid of big crowds. Don't forget to keep on thinking, and don't forget to go to blockpartylivetour.com to get your tickets. I hope to see you there.